the enemy calls it the Angel of Death. It sneaks up on its targets, delivering a lethal payload of weapons. A lot of times uh, the enemy's hit, never heard us, never seen us. It's a complete surprise to them, and uh, we kind of like it that way. This is the Apache Longbow, the latest version of a military classic. The Apache helicopter has been around since the early 1980s and is widely regarded as the most successful combat-proven advanced attack helicopter on the planet. But what new tricks can you teach this old war dog when it already seems to be invincible on the modern battlefield? The Apache helicopter has fought in every U.S. conflict since it took to the skies during the Panama War. Today's longbow offers invaluable support to the fight against insurgents, flying dangerous missions throughout Afghanistan and Iraq. This is the heart of Alabama, the U.S. Army's headquarters for Apache training. I'm here to get a closer look at the longbow and see it deliver its payload. As the regiment's motto says, they're trained to kill. And with the new longbow, they have the perfect partner. So, how does the Longbow's new technology make the Apache even more invincible than before? With a fire control radar system located just above the rotor blades, the Apache can gather and process more information from the battlefield and deliver it to the crew within seconds. Pilots now have the ability to scan, detect, and classify up to 128 targets and prioritize the 16 most dangerous threats. Then they can transmit that information to other aircraft so they can initiate a precision attack all in less than a minute. There's really not any target we can engage with this system now. This has turned individual warriors into a combined super weapon, working as a smart network in today's digital battlefield. It can detect targets in very poor weather conditions. So how can a close combat helicopter strike with precision from a much safer distance? That's where the next generation of smart Hellfire missiles come in. The only real weapons change that we had from the Alpha model to the Delta model, the Longbow, is uh, what we call an RF missile. It's coincided with the FCR and is more of a fire and forget missile. Once we identify the target or pick it up on our radar, we can uh, initiate, fire the weapon system and fly away, and the missile itself will track that target and destroy it.